Hello, in this video we're going to look at a perfectly competitive firm. We're going to solve and graph its marginal cost curve. We're going to talk about the firm supply curve. We're going to do a profit maximization problem and we'll also be talking about the shutdown rule. A perfectly competitive firm's cost function is given by the following equation. We want to solve for the firm's marginal cost curve and graph it. We're going to talk about what the firm supply curve is and then find the price range at which the quantity supplied is zero. To get marginal cost, we're going to take the derivative of this cost equation with respect to Q, the quantity of output. So the derivative of 1,000 is zero. The derivative of 250Q is just 250. And the derivative of minus 10Q squared is going to be minus 20Q. We take the exponent on the Q term, and that comes down in front, so it's going to be minus 2 times 10. And then we subtract 1 from that exponent. And then finally, the derivative of this last term, this Q raised to the third power divided by 6, will be given as follows. Once again, the exponent comes down in front, and we subtract 1 from that exponent. So simplifying here, we have a marginal cost equation given by the following. So here's our marginal cost equation. This is going to be a U-shaped curve. We're going to find the minimum point on the curve in help in graphing it. To get the minimum point of this U-shaped marginal cost curve, we're going to take the derivative of it with respect to Q. and We get back minus 20 plus Q. We set this result equal to 0 and solve for Q. Q equals 20. So the marginal cost curve, its lowest point, is going to occur when Q equals 20. And at Q equals 20, if we plug this 20 into the marginal cost equation, marginal cost will be $50. And here is a graph of that U-shaped marginal cost curve uh, to show where some of these points are coming from. Do the following. So as we saw, if Q equals 20, that is where marginal cost is minimized at $50. So the bottom of the U. Other points on the marginal cost curve. If Q equals 0, plugging 0 into the marginal cost equation, marginal cost will be 250. That's this point up here. Another point on the marginal cost equation, uh, our marginal cost curve, is where Q equals 10. Plugging 10 into the marginal cost equation, we're going to get a marginal cost of 100. So if Q is 10, marginal cost is 100 here. Plugging 30 into the marginal cost equation and simplifying, we're going to get an answer of 100. So here Q is 30, marginal cost is 100. So we get this nice U-shaped looking curve. For the firm to supply a positive quantity of output, the market price needs to equal or exceed the average variable cost. This condition holds if the market price is equal to or exceeds the minimum point on the average variable cost curve. It also occurs where marginal cost equals average variable cost. So here's our cost equation. What we're going to do is we're going to get variable cost. So the 1,000 is fixed cost. Everything else then is variable cost. And from variable cost, we will derive average variable cost. To get average variable cost, we're going to divide variable cost through by Q. So 250Q divided by Q is just 250. Minus 10Q squared divided by Q leaves us with minus 10Q. And then finally, this last term here divided by Q will leave us with Q squared divided by 6. So that is average variable cost. To find the minimum point on average variable cost, we're going to do what we did with marginal cost to find its minimum point. We're going to take a derivative. So taking the derivative of average variable cost with respect to output, the derivative of 250, that's a constant, so that's 0. The derivative of minus 10q is just minus 10. And the derivative of this last term, uh, we're going to bring down the 2, so you're going to have 2 divided by 6, which just simplifies to 1 third. And subtracting 1 from that exponent, you're left with q divided by 3. Since we're minimizing, we're going to set that result equal to 0 and solve for q. So multiplying both sides through by 3, q equals 30. So at 30 units of output, average variable cost will be at its lowest point. And what will average variable cost equal at 30 units of output? Plug this 30 back into the average variable cost equation, and we'll see average variable cost will equal $100. 
And now let's take a look at marginal cost when Q equals 30. And just to remind ourselves, when Q equals 30, average variable cost is minimized. And we plug this 30 in the marginal cost, we'll see that marginal cost also equals $100. So at Q equals 30, average variable cost equals marginal cost. The firm supply curve is its marginal cost curve that lies above the minimum point on the average variable cost curve. In perfect competition, a firm produces where price equals marginal cost. So we could change this MC equal to P, and this would be the firm supply curve, okay? Uh, if, if, once again, if price is greater than or equal to $100, the minimum point on the average variable cost curve. If the price is less than the shutdown point, the minimum point on the average variable cost curve, the firm would produce zero units of output. Q would equal zero. Q would equal zero for any price less than $100. So let's do some profit maximization. Let's say that the market price is $200. So the firm will produce a positive quantity of output because this price exceeds uh, $100. So setting price equal to marginal cost and solving for Q. We're going to get a quadratic equation. We're going to solve for Q here. We're going to get a quadratic equation, so we're going to use a quadratic formula. A is 0 0.5, B is minus 20, and C is going to be 50. And plugging those values into our formula and simplifying, simplifying some more. Square root of 300 is 17.32. And so to get our roots here, 20 minus 17.32 is 2.68. We can ignore this value. It's going to be our profit minimizing output level. Here we're going to take the larger value, 20 plus 17.32. The profit maximizing output is 37.32 units. If P equals 80, the firm should shut down and produce nothing. So the firm should produce zero to minimize its losses. $80 is less than the shutdown price of $100. So if Q equals zero, the firm's profits will actually equal minus its fixed cost. And I'll show that profit is revenue minus cost. And there is no revenue when the firm shuts down, quantity zero. And if we evaluate the cost function at zero units of output, the only thing we're left here is with the fixed cost. So profit equals minus the fixed cost when the firm shuts down. Let's assume the firm didn't shut down and made the incorrect decision of producing a positive level of output when price equals $80. If the firm made that mistake, how much would it produce? Well, we set 80 here, the price equal the marginal cost, and solve for Q. Once again, we get a quadratic equation. Plugging in our values into the quadratic equation or formula and solving for Q. We get this uh, smaller value that we're going to ignore. And we get this larger value of 27.75. So the firm should produce 27.75 here. And if it does that, its profits will equal the following. Price times quantity minus total cost where Q is 27.75, and you notice here that the loss is greater than shutting down. So the firm has lower profit by producing where marginal cost equals price, or where price equals marginal cost, than producing nothing. So the firm should shut down. It would minimize its losses. Okay, that's it.